Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to this second music vlog of mine. I had planned to do these a bit more frequently, but I have been practicing. It's not a case of, of I've not been practicing and not able to maybe do another one, but I just, I, the more I practice, the more I wanted to be better and, and all these sorts of things. And tonight for the first time, I tried recording with a, there's actually another microphone just here, just off camera that I've pushed down. So I try to set up like some people do with a, a microphone to sing into and a microphone for the guitar. And I've just spent about, it must be about 45 minutes trying to record myself playing and singing um, the Elvis song that I promised to play, I Can't Help Falling In Love With You. And much as though I can play and sing that song perfectly off camera, <laughs> could I for the life of me do it when the pressure was on to record it? And I couldn't. So I then thought, well, maybe I'll just try and do a basic blog like I did last time and maybe just update a little bit on the other things I've been trying to practice, of which there's been really that song and bar chords, which I'm getting really into. While we're on with things, though, and I'm pretty sure I was waiting for this when I did the last vlog. In fact, I was. Uh, this is the new leather strap to go with this guitar. It was a, a basic sort of strap I had on it before or it was actually it wasn't a basic one I think it was quite an expensive one but sort of a foam one but I prefer the leather ones so it's really nice to have this uh, hooked up to it now does set it off nicely don't you think um, so that's really good so I've got this one on this guitar and I've got the black leather one on the electric guitar and I haven't actually played uh, an awful lot of the electric I've been forcing myself onto the acoustic to keep my hand getting stronger for the bar chords which are coming along you know, I've got some work to do, but I'm getting there. And I can't remember if I mentioned last time, but I basically found a tutorial. And maybe I'll I'll try and put the link in the description below. But it's a guy who was showing how to play Sultans of Swing by Dire Straits. And yes, I know <laughs> I'm setting my standards pretty high for learning bar chords. But it's a really, really nice... Well, it's a really, really great song. It's one of my favourite Dire Straits songs. It's, it's up there with my top one. <laughs> Well, well, at least my top five anyway, but uh, it's a cracking tune and I realise that there's a lot of guitar work that goes on in that song, but I wanted to try and get the basic chords for it down and possibly some of the riff work as well, which this guy sort of shows off in his video. And the problem isn't necessarily the bar chords, it's getting between the bar chords. Um, but bearing in mind that I couldn't even play a bar chord two weeks ago, I'm pretty chuffed with where I've got to. Now, the problem with this vlog, the problem with this vlog is I've just destroyed my hand for about three quarters of an hour trying to play. <laughs> I will always uh, the Elvis track. I can't help falling in love with you. So I tell you what I'll do. I'm going to try and just play the a bit of the Elvis track. And just to show that I sort of worked on the chords that I was missing and I added on when I, in the last one I kind of played it but I played it with a few missing chords that there was actually slightly more intricate than I was playing it as because I stumbled across it rather than found the right chords. I wasn't far off to be fair but there was some chords I wasn't using. And then there was the the middle piece, um, like a river flows gently to the sea, which I hadn't played at all. So let's give it a go. We'll see how far my fingers hold up, and then I'll show you what I've been doing with um, with my bar chord practicing and what have you. It's not going to be a very long vlog, this, because much as though I've practiced at least for 40 minutes to an hour every night, I have, except one where it was about 20 minutes because I was out. But every night, even when I was out that night, I still try to get back and practice for a little while so it's not a huge i mean i realize it's not a massive amount of of time but i think to try and share this experience with other people who might have the same time to invest in the guitar rather than spend three or four hours of an evening because there's other things i want to do as well like tonight i want to have a flag and a veil <laughs> and maybe try a bit of dark souls that's just arrived on uh, the xbox one x now that the remastered ones uh, come to me and all sorts of other things just to chill out for the evening. Uh, I haven't had a flag in yet like I normally do with my Friday vlogs. Because if I have a flag in, my, thing, my, my hand eye coordination will be out the window. I don't know how these rock and roll stars <laughs> get high as kites and play on stage, people. I really don't. Like, I can't play three chords if I have a beer. Uh, right, here we go. So let's see if we can do the obvious track. Um...
Okay. <laughs> I nearly got to the end there and then I messed up the last bloody bit. But anyway, never mind. So there you go. So I've managed to... Uh, it's the pressure of camera people. It's a bloody nightmare. <laughs> And also, as I say, three quarters of an hour playing already. The front of my fingers are absolutely knackered. Um, but uh, to some extent, the bar chords are slightly easier because I've been doing them tonight. I've only been doing that one song. So so there you are. But I can, I promise you, play it all the way through without... Uh, but that, that bit that, that I wasn't playing... So that bit was... And that was the bit we'd, uh, we hadn't done last time. So the fact that I can build that in now and sing the whole song to at least myself <laughs> without making a mistake, um, that's great. So, um, so I'm really chuffed with that. And I've probably did, I've done myself a bit of a disservice by doing 45 minutes of trying to record the damn thing and then deciding to do this. I probably should have done this in the first place and then I'd probably been all right playing it. But uh, So moving swiftly on. So the, the Sultans of Swing, I've been trying to do... Uh, so effectively, you start off on this D minor up here. Now, the thing with bar chords is that you're generally playing... I mean, I couldn't play these chords um, two weeks ago. If I tried to play this chord, it wouldn't have sounded like a chord at all. It would have just been a fluff. Um, now, this is a D minor on a, a bar chord down here, but it's exactly the same as the D minor up here. But I think the idea is if you play them elsewhere on the fretboard, that it's a richer sound rather than playing them up on, on the top here. So... It does seem to be somewhat richer, I think. Slightly higher, maybe even. So the yeah, so I'm not sure. Like, there's obviously a reason for playing them this way. But the tutorial that I was I was I was on was basically teaching me to do this. And this is the basically the beginning sort of uh, section of the thing. And the sec the beginning section of Sultans of Swing, um, so far as the rhythm of it goes. And I'm using it. It's basically three bar chords and then it follows into other stuff. So I've been using those three bar, bar chords to try and get faster at it. Um, and it's been going kind of okay, but I've been trying to do a bit of a guitar thing as well that he does, which is down up. It's like a down up chuck kind of thing. Um, just to try and get more of a flavor when I'm playing for the type of song that I'm trying to play. Coming back up's the hardest bit. So you get the idea. It's I, again, I'm, I know I'm a million miles away from being half decent at it, but considering I couldn't play a bar chord two weeks ago, I'm pretty chuffed with where I am. And all I've been doing is just trying to get as quick as I can around these three chords. Now I believe the one I was playing there is a D minor, I think, and then that's a C, which is kind of the same thing further up with the, the three fingers just up a level, and then a B minor up at the top here, and then just an A at the end, which is in the bar chord. And that's it. So I've been trying to move as quickly as I can through each of these these chords. And then last night I was trying to get from A back to up here because then you have to do it again. And then every now and then you hit a duffer. <laughs> My fingers got a pot on the second and third runs. Especially after 45 minutes of playing the other stuff.
So there you go. So that's basically the, been the, the routine for my practicing. And I just keep doing that. I just keep backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. And funnily enough, when I, when I started doing the bar chords, I found this one up here, which is the B minor. I found that one of the toughest things to do. But as time's gone on, I've kind of found that one slightly easier and then found it difficult getting between the other two. Um, the, the danger of this one is that you, you tilt these three fingers slightly over this fret and you get this weird, horrible off sound. So you have to try and make sure that whatever happens, that if anything, this finger can come further forward. Um, so I've actually, so I've surprised myself as to how comfortable that one's kind of become as well. But he said, he says playing it with a duff note. <laughs> yeah. Let's try it again, shall we? See where we're at. Whoa. Not bad. <laughs> My fingers are giving up, people. I told you it was going to be a struggle. Um, so there you are. So that's pretty much been my, my last two weeks. I'd come home, I'd try practicing the bar chords, then I would try practicing... Um, I will, I will, uh, why do I keep forgetting the name of that song? <laughs> I can't help falling in love with you. And, and then just bounced around doing some of the, the picking work again that I always try and... I always try and throw some of that in just so that I'm keeping the... Because it's still a bit off when I try and do it. I like it to be more comfortable. Not tried doing that with bar chords yet right enough. Now another, another nice thing of playing that, if you can get a rhythm going with it, is that it's very good at picking out if you're not quite getting the chord, like a, a duff string. I'm quite chuffed with that because those bar chords are coming out pretty clear. Yeah, there's one. There it is. So you can find duff notes that you're not quite, but if you're strumming you don't really hear them. So you can kind of get away with it. Um, so there you go. So that's that's pretty much it. It's pretty much all I've got to 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 give you today. I've now I've moved. You'll notice I've moved back into the other room for doing the musical vlog, because um, well I noticed that the sound of because it's in the that chill out area is in the kitchen. The sound of the fridge was getting picked up on the microphone, and also it sounded quite echoey in there. I noticed when I was listening to it back. So I thought I would just do them like this and have this nicer background behind me as well and better lighting and stuff so i think i will do them in here it makes more sense everything's just better set up in here um especially if i do get around to recording a proper song with singing as well but uh, i don't know the more i hear myself recorded singing i'm not overly <laughs> not overly sure if i like it or not but one way or the other we'll keep the guitar going so there you are. That is all I have for you today. I'm sorry it's a bit of a shorter one, but uh, I will keep practicing. I'll keep updating you. Uh, I suspect it's going to be bigger gaps between these videos than I thought, simply because of the... It just depends on my progress. There's no point in me sort of doing another music vlog if I haven't got anything new to show you. So, um, so yeah, so there you are. It has been an honour and a privilege fluffing my guitar lines for you today. <laughs> Hopefully it's inspired someone to pick up their guitar for at least half an hour and I shall see all you guys next time. Take it easy. Bye